Hello, everyone. There you are. In the headlines this month, Dystopian Societies 2, Sanity 0. Well, at least according to some reports. In other news, it's time for a change in Wellington Wells. Welcome to the Clockwork Update for We Happy Few. This update focuses on improving what's currently in the game, finally fixes Faraday, and has a few new places to explore. Let's get into it. First, we have a small surprise for you. As you know, at the end of the prologue, Arthur gets smoked by a couple of bobbies and left for dead. We haven't revealed what happens next, until now. From now on, Arthur will wake up right where we left off. You'll explore a brand new tutorial area designed to introduce players to the coming woes of fending for your life in the Garden District. We also hope this helps answer the how the f did we get down here question players have been asking themselves in previous builds. So while you graciously and patiently anticipate the full narrative release, we hope you'll enjoy this repaired plot hole in the meantime. Second, to help prevent bugs caused by quests going absolutely haywire, we have implemented Conversation Mode. Brilliant. Thank you. Previously, during an encounter, it was kind of easy to break a quest's condition. For example, you could kill the NPC right in the middle of him talking to you. Or you could walk away and still be assigned the objective for no real reason. Or the NPC would be taken down by another NPC. Or you were attacked, which frankly is much more likely because knowing you guys, you probably just hit someone in the face. Now, once you start talking to an encounter NPC, she will enter conversation mode, and nothing from the outside can interfere with that conversation. This makes for a far more cinematic feeling because each of these conversations is like a mini cutscene. It means we can create more engaging animation and make sure that the right information is getting across to the player. Yes, it does mean that you can't take down NPCs while they are talking. However, you can do that afterwards and sometimes before, if you like, you cheeky buggers. Third, for a couple of months now, the team has been working hard on refactoring all of our current encounters. What this means is that we have completely changed how the encounters and quests are built in the game. Previously, each level designer on the team had their own method of scripting things. But because all of this was different, if something broke, we couldn't repair it globally. So, this update introduces a new quest state system that allows us to streamline everything. This system makes it much easier for the game to know exactly where you are in a quest. This means fewer bugs in the encounters and a significantly simplified and faster save system. Please be aware that you will need to start a new game with this update, as the old system is completely incompatible. Fourth, while politely pillaging the village of Hamlin, you may notice it's received a nice fresh facelift courtesy of the humble and entirely good-looking art team. Together, we created new furniture, wallpapers, paintings, and countless other little details to make the village feel more authentic. The more this place looks like Carnaby Street had a freakish baby with Mr. Bean's apartment, the better. That means the interiors got some major TLC, not only to make them look more beautiful, but to better support gameplay and environmental storytelling. In order to do this, we made props like reminder notes and custom book covers, but we also carefully adjusted the lighting to create a better atmosphere and optimized layout. And I mean, a lot of these major changes are purely aesthetic. The villagers are still gonna hate you if you look like you're trespassing, but when they aren't trying to beat the crap out of you, they'll go about their business instead of wandering around like brainless idiots. And finally, as usual, there are a whole bunch of little changes. For example, we have added a few new animations that will help spice things up as you're wandering around Wellington Wells. We hope that these little details, plus the huge changes to our quests and encounters, will make the game a much better overall experience, and we do hope that you enjoy it. Hi, I'm Sarah. This is Sam. And when we're not deeply uncomfortable on camera, we work here on Convulsion Games. We figured you guys might be interested in taking a look behind the scenes at what goes on in Compulsion. We're basically 25 people down in Montreal in Canada, and uh, yeah, we make We Happy Few. We take your feedback really seriously, and I know it might not seem like very much, but we've changed the game quite a bit thanks to feedback you guys have given us previously. The best place to give feedback is on the compulsiongames.com forums. Thanks for your time. <laughs>